In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the two wide receiver slant concept, how you can really master the quick slants play in Madden as a great man beater and also uh, a great blitz beater. Something that a lot of people don't really realize uh, is that these quick slants are such a good concept to work in Madden 22. Now, uh, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better as Madden 22 launch is almost two weeks, maybe just over two weeks away, uh, we are locking in heavy in lab work and preparation for this next season. Now, uh, so be sure to subscribe. Now, I just released a guide that I think is really going to help a lot of people when it comes to Madden. And basically what the guide is focusing on is a, it's an encyclopedia, if you will. It's a resource. It's a, it's a route concept encyclopedia. And what we do is we break down different concepts. As you see here, I can go to these plays by concepts. And when you look at these passes, I can do all kinds of things. And today we're going to be going over the slant concept. In this route concept encyclopedia, I basically do that. I, I do some of the concepts in here, I also do some of my own, uh, and really break down how you could run different concepts from different formations so that you can take these concepts and apply them to any formation that you might be wanting to run in Madden 22. So for example, curl flat concept or post curl concept or uh, the slant concept like we're talking about today. So if you wanna get that full route concept encyclopedia that breaks down both spread, short side of the field, wide side of the field concepts, spread, compression, trips, two by two, all of those different types of concepts. Um, it's a great resource and it's gonna continue to update throughout the course of the Madden 22 season. It's a one-time purchase of 15 bucks and you get it for the life of the guide. The guide always will be updating as I find new uh, concepts to put into it. So if you wanna get that, Click the link in the description and uh, you can go get that for five bucks. Now let's talk about the slant concept today. And really we're gonna be talking about this. And um, I personally like this to be uh, a little bit different than the double slant. So most of the concepts that you're gonna see in Madden are double slant. So you don't even necessarily need to pick a play that has slants. So we can actually do this out of any play. Um, so I'm just gonna pick any play here. And I wanna first show why I like this so much. The first and foremost reason why I like slants is because it's a great man beater. And so what we like to do is we're just gonna put both of the slot receivers on flat routes. We're gonna put both of the outside receivers on slants. And then if you have a hot route master, you can put your uh, running back on this block and release hook. You could also just block him. And if you don't have either of those abilities, then you can just put him on an option route, okay? I personally like to put him on a block and release hook if I can, but if I don't, then I'll just put him on a simple option route, okay? Now, let's talk about how this works um, against man-to-man. -man. Your first read is always your short side slant route. Um, you don't want to read the wide side of the field first. You're going to read your short side. So you're just, and that's your primary read against man coverage. If you see man coverage, you're throwing this right now. Real quick, easy five yards, easy completion for your quarterback. And that's why I like this so much. If you get man-to-man -man coverage, that route will always be there for you with about 90% accuracy. I would I would venture to say 100, but um, I'm gonna just kind of hedge my bet and say 99% of the time, that route is always gonna be there. It's a great man beater against pressed man. It's also, it's also a really good man beater uh, against off coverage man that has pressure attached to it. So you're gonna see right here that I'm gonna send some pressure um, from the outside linebacker and I want you to watch this as this works. So again here, off pressure, easy on the cut, and as you can see, this can be a massive gain if you're facing the blitz. Most people don't know how to run the slants, they don't know how to read the slants, and they don't understand the progression, and that's why they don't really run it, right? It's a really good concept. I've played people that are, I'm way better than as a Madden player, and they run slants on me, and I'll be honest, it's hard to stop. But it's here's how they run it. Here's what they do. This is what most people do when they run this play. They block the running back, and then they just roll out, roll out, roll out, roll out, roll out, roll out. And there's really only one read. There's not actually a progression. What I want to teach today is a progression for this. So that's your main read. If you get main coverage, that's where you're looking. Now, if you get zone coverage, you're still looking over there. For example, if I get a look like this, um, and let's just say, for example, I get, let's just say I get that look. Okay, so I'm getting blitzed and I'm looking 
quick left. Can I throw this on the numbers? If I can throw it, I'll throw it. As you see right there, I can throw it. I'm not always going to be able to throw it. And that's where I, that's where my second concept uh, really comes in handy. So uh, I want to show you a look where I'm not going to be able to throw the slant to the left. Um, so this is a look where I'm not going to be able to throw the slant to the left, as you see. Not able to throw it here. So now my second read is my backside slant. So it goes slant, short side slant, to wide side slant to wide side shoot route. This route to triangle, I will probably almost never throw it. He's really a late read. He's like the last read on the play. The route to Gronk is the third read on this play. Okay, so what I'm looking at, and this is really good, especially if you get a look like this, where there's max coverage attached to it, and they're gonna be sitting here with their user. If I get a look like this right here, I'm looking here, no, no, and now I come back and throw to Gronk and take my five yards, very simple, okay? I'm looking, is there, and, and really it's, we talked about this a little bit with the air raid, is there grass in this area? So is there a defender in this area? Is there a defender in this grass? So when I when I snap my, my eyes to the left here, I'm gonna see that there's gonna be a defender in this grass area. So then I've gotta quickly move to the back side. So I'm looking, oh, defender, oh, defender, and then I look out here, and now I can throw this in stride, and that's why we like to read that wide side of the field shoot route third, because this is a great way for that route to be able to be very successful if they are running something like a Mabel concept where they're using seam flats to really deter these slants. Um, you're going to see that if they do that, then I'm going to have this boom, boom, and I'm throwing that up and getting some rack yards afterwards for about three to seven yards, which in my opinion is a very good, um, a very good game. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I want to kind of, um, it's gonna be hard to show you because of the way I got my zone drops prepared here, but I wanna basically show you what it would look like if they go to the flat. So this would be, for example, if they're putting these guys in five yard curl flats or something like that. I just want you to see this. And if we get a look like that, that's where your slant routes are really going to become very powerful. And we're going to, that's our, our second read here. So you look left, and now you'll see, oh, I can throw that with a low ball right there, quick, hot. If that defender jets out on the flat, then I can throw that with a low ball um, every single time. Let me show you that again. So now what we'll do is we'll work that to the backside here. So you get a look like that. And then here, you know, they're really intentional about taking away the flat route. Um, so you're going to see this right here. So just kind of set up the concept. And now we're looking left. No, right, low ball, dot, okay? I'm looking boom, boom, boom. Slant, slant, flat. And then I looked at the running back, okay? Now if everything breaks down in this play, let's just say everything breaks down. Let's say they have an incredible user over here. So they take away that flat. Um, and that's going to mean that they're going to be kind of out in here as a hook. I mean, really what it's going to mean is more of a vertical hook. You're going to get more something like that. So let's just show that real quick. And then I'm just going to, this guy's going to be more of a mid read type defender. So you get something like that. This is where the, and this is why the running back is the last read or not the last read, but really the last main read, this block and release hook, watch him just drop right there, low ball. The slants are going to pull that yellow back, and they're going to allow me to throw that little route to the back, okay? Um, now, if you get a, let's say you get a look like, let's say you don't have Hot Red Master, okay? Um, let's say you just don't have it, and that's fine. We're just going to show you how to deal with that. So if you don't have Hot Red Master, the same thing is going to happen. The option route, he's going to sit in the zone, okay, which is perfect. So you see here it comes, he sits, low ball, Okay. Now that's ideally saying, okay, their user's going with the slant. More than likely that's what's going to be happening um, because that's how a Mabel coverage would work in this example, okay? But that's pretty much the slant flat concept. Now late, 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 if it is open and there is nothing, and everything else is covered, you're looking late um, to that flat, you get something like that, you can throw that. Now these slant routes are also really good laid in the read. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's say you get, um, this is where, again, there's a progression. There's backside slant front. So as you're looking to the shoot route, um, to the X receiver and you're looking here, you can throw these late. If everything breaks down, if I just wait, 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 look at that circle receiver. 
getting really good depth, really good positioning as I'm looking to that flat route. So if they're coming down on the flat, and let's just show you a good example of some time where they would be doing that. So let's say this guy is just all over the flat route, okay? And it's late in the progression, and you know, because they only blitz two people, so you're sitting, you're waiting, your eyes are jumping, you're trying to find this open read, um, and you're looking, boom, boom, no, no, oh, I'm looking back, oh, he's covered, but now I can, now I can throw that route to Brown. And let me show you that one more time, as I threw it in my lineman's head there, but that's the idea. So this concept is really effective. It really is. Most people don't understand how to run it, and that's why they don't ever, they don't ever have a lot of success with it, because they don't really understand how to run the concept. They just understand like, oh, I can throw the slant route, but they don't look, they don't understand the whole play. Uh, but that, that's what I'm talking about. That little late read right there, Brown is, is open. If they're coming down on the flat, if they're really sitting on the flat route, the slant will be open. Otherwise they'll bail to the slant and that flat route will be open late for about five to 10 yards. So it's a great little play. Just get some yardage. Um, it's really effective, in my opinion, uh, especially against this, these Mabel coverages and stuff like that. But really, ideally, it's a great play against the Blitz as well. I didn't show this. Um, I didn't show this component of it real quick. Let me show you kind of the best way that somebody would defend this from a Blitz perspective. And really, that's to use the Mike Blitz three. But what you're going to see here is obviously we're anticipating their user to go basically like over here, okay? Um, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna like kind of drop him into that hook curl on the left. Um, but what you're gonna see here is this left side slant. You see how open that flat little shoot is. So if you see that linebacker blitz and that slot really come in on the slant, it's a really easy read to just jump out to that. And then let's say you get something like let's say you get something like that where you get a curl flat uh, look. Let me show you that. See here, he really gets out there and it really opens that slant up. So this is a great play against the blitz. You're really going to force them to have to drop a lot of people back, kind of get off of you a little bit from a blitz perspective. And it's just a really underrated concept. Most people don't understand how to run this. And when you run it from spread, you get really good spacing. And it's also a really easy way for you to be able to beat man to man. So thanks for watching this video. If you want to go more in depth with my route concepts and really understand how these routes work, whether it be to the wide side of the field or the short side of the field, how you can piece a two-man concept on the left with a three-man concept on the right. That's what my route encyclopedia is for, and I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description. Like I said, it's gonna consistently update over the course of really my entire Madden career, over the course of Madden 22, Madden 23. We're gonna to continue to add to this. This is a one-time purchase of 15 bucks that you will continue to get value um, value from going forward. So if you wanna get that route concept encyclopedia, I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description of this video. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you guys later.